Good morning. Rolling that ball around. The ball's going to come in handy today because after class, we're going to do some rolling today. And uh, even if you don't have a foam roller, I suggest you stick around for the first bit, which will be against the wall with the ball. And you're going to feel good. I guarantee you. Uh, rolling up and down the uh, fingers. And across the knuckles. And let the thumb tear. There you go. And over at the pad beneath the pinky. And let's interlace the fingers and compress two, three, four, five, and let go. <clears throat> and compress two, three, four, five, and one more time. Two, three, four, five. Let's throw the ball up in the air and catch as best we can. It's dark in here. That's my excuse. And try to trick yourself. Going from hand to hand, that mind engaged, and maybe slapping it around. Yep, yep. there we go. Three, two, one, assess the feet. Ankles, knees, hips, drop the ball, step down on it three times, right in the middle of the foot. And bring it up to the knuckles. Pressing now once going across. Rotate on the heel. Slide it across the knuckles. Bring it down to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes and slide it across the top of the heel. Place the ball just below the first knuckle and press. Slide it down about an inch to the side of the top of the heel and press and then over in the middle of the fifth metatarsal and press. Roll it down the bones. And scribble. Three. Two, one, let go, reassess, and go to the other foot. Press it down. Up to the knuckles. Roll it across. Roll it across the top of the heel. Roll the first knuckle. Side of the top of the heel. Middle of the fifth metatarsal. tarsal. Rolling it down the bones. And scroll. And let go. Get the ball out of the way. 
reassess, and shake the tree. Or do the limb energy bounce. Centering two deep breaths. Twist the twice, swing the arms. And center. Ocean wave breathing. Deep breath, fingers and thumb at the base of the spine, stepping out and gathering in starlight. And now the other side, same thing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Lower down to the end, heart, throat, third eye. Three times around the crown. And back down. And center. Deep breath. And let's march in place. Or jog. So today we're going to be doing some standing core leg and hip exercises. So do whatever you want to do. You can keep going at the rate you're going now, or you can pick it up a little or sprint. I think that's what I'll do. We could do rapid squats. Some side jacks. Or Regular jumping jacks. Just be careful, safe, in five, four, three, two, one, two. And Twenty, 
42. Two deep breaths. Interlace the hands, bring them up over the head, reach through the ceiling. If you can, go back into the extension. Come back up and to one side. And then the other. Center and come down slowly, pushing out at the chest. Come down and shrug. Roll the shoulders back. And forward. Extend the arms and rotate. Switch directions. Thumbs up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down. Cross one arm right below the neck and push back on the elbow. Other arm. First arm behind the head, pushing down. On the elbow. And then the other. Let's rotate the neck. in one direction, and then the other. And now put your hands at your side and drop your right hand, look to your left, and put your chin down towards your shoulder and hold two, three, four, Five, release, come back up. Again, drop your right hand, look to your left, chin towards your shoulder, three, four, five, and come back. And then we'll do it one more time on that side, dropping the right hand and arm, chin is towards the left shoulder, three, four, five, and then reverse. Drop your right, uh, your left hand, look to your right, put your chin towards your shoulder. Three, four, five, release. Drop that left hand, right chin is towards the shoulder. And release, and one more time. Left hand down, right chin on the Right shoulder, four, five, and come up. Shake it out. Hands are, fingers are uh, facing up, pulling back. That's a uh, stretch of the trapezius. Um, the, one of the muscles attaching to the neck. We're going to do with the ball now, put your fingers down. Later, the levator scapula 
uh, with the ball. And then we're going to do with the roller um, the melt neck treatment. So we're going to get those necks nice and relaxed today. Flop it. Um, you can either wiggle your fingers or make a fist. Okay, fingers up. And down. And flopped. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful cardinal. Yeah, there is right in the tree, right outside my window in the snow. It looks beautiful. Let's um, go into a side lunge and stretch the adductors. Go the other way. Face forward, front leg is at 90 degrees, back leg, heel is pressing to the floor, stretching the calf. Turn around, get the other calf. Come around, hinge at the waist, hips over the ankles, reach towards the floor, stretch the hamstrings. And come up. And let's grab a stick. We'll start with grabbing the leg by the shins or front of the ankles or by the toes if you can. Pulling, stretching the quad. And then the other leg. And come back and let's rotate out in a big circle. And back in. <laughs> and uh, do a lateral. <laughs> lateral. <laughs> and then the other way. And push out. And flop the wrist. Switch the position, palms are up, flop in the wrist. Do some curls. Switch the position of the wrists again, bring it behind the neck in the crook of the elbows. Twist the trunk, keep the head and hips facing forward. So 
Rough to stick down. Through the back, mid back, and the crook of the elbows. Twist at the waist. And go back in extension if you can do extensions. Ah. Come back up, tuck in that chin, and peck like a pigeon. Bring the stick back up in front. And we're going to do some lunges down to the side. One. Two. Other side. <laughs> Two. Four and five. Pick the stick uh, behind the back, bottom hand, the palm is facing out, and bring it up and down your spine. You can extend that bottom arm out and up and stretch that shoulder. Switch the positions of your hand. And again, bring the stick up and down along your spine. and stretch that bottom hand out. Bring the stick around. We'll go up on our toes for a second, 15 times and back on our heels. One and back on the heels. Two, three, ten. Eleven, thirteen, and fourteen. All right, hold on to your sticks. As I mentioned, we're going to do the standing core leg and hip exercises. We're going to start with some kicks out. We'll do uh, ten with each leg. Go a little bit higher. But only go as high as you feel comfortable doing. A little bit higher with each one. Six, I think. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch positions. So the stick goes in the other hand, and we kick the other leg. Now you can be holding on to the wall if that feels more comfortable or back of a chair or a counter, or if you feel safe enough, you can do it without a stick. Then swing the legs back, keep your knees straight on this one. Six.
And then the other one. And now we're going to come across. And the other foot. Now just go out laterally. And the other foot. We'll do some butt kicks. You're bending your knee in the back and picking up towards your glute. And 10, other one. And then bring your leg forward, one, and you can slap it with the other hand, three. Holding onto the stick if you need to, five, six, eight, nine, ten, three, nine, and 10, some hip rotations. Eight, nine, and 10. And now we're gonna go knee to elbow. And again, uh, if you're holding on to something, just do the same, uh, same side. If not, you can do the opposite side. Six, 10 on each side. Nine and ten. Take a breath. And we're going to just see if um, we can kick out a little bit higher than we did when we started. Two, three. Nine and ten. Other foot. Nine and ten. Okay, shake it out. A couple of deep breaths and center. And open our hearts.
hold on that inhale and send it out. Centering, two breaths. Bring it in to a count of four and out to a count of eight. And bring down how much Going down, gathering up. And ah. Yay, snow, and namaste. Sorry about that, Tom. I didn't realize I hadn't muted myself. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Uh, Daddy left the scene. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, as I mentioned a couple of times, today we're going to do rolling. And um, I'm going to start. Well, first, let me uh, see if there's any questions, comments, thoughts. Snow, snow uh, removal advice, uh, always <laughs> welcome. Okay, none coming. Art, good luck with that. Hey, Richard, how are you? And Jonathan? Um, Art only has four inches. Boy, we got more of that. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is take this tennis ball and go to a wall. I guess you could do this lying down too, but I think most of you will appreciate the fact that we're doing it against the wall. So I'm going to come back here. Let me see. I think I'll switch the camera to mid-range. And what we want to hit is the uh, levator scapulae, which runs from this neck down. Um, we can see the top of you. Oh, OK. Uh, let me go back to the original there. <laughs> Thank you for that. Up here, this muscle that runs from the neck down to the inside of the scapula. So we're going to go up against the wall and put your hand up here, find the inside of your scapula, and that's where you want to place the ball against the wall and sort of um, roll around until you find a tender spot. It shouldn't be difficult to do. So I'm up against the wall, I'm putting the ball back there on the inside, rolling around. All right, I've got my spot. And I'm just going to hold it there for the customary 20 to 30 seconds, pressing as much as you can um, reasonably um, 
understand to resolve whatever knot is there. And then put your chin down towards your other shoulder, your opposite shoulder, as we did before when we were releasing the trapezius, which is right next to the levator scapula. And hold for about five seconds and come up. And again, put your chin down towards the opposite shoulder. And come up. And we're going to do it one more time. And come up. And then just raise the arm on the same side that the ball is and lower it about four times. <laughs> uh, just notice the last goes in there. Okay. Take that ball out and put it on the other side. Again, finding that tender spot. The last one. And lean into it. Holding another five, four, three, two, one. And now we're going to again put our chin down to the opposite shoulder. And come back. And the chin down to the opposite shoulder. And back. Yeah, one more time. And back. And then raise that arm up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. And one more time. Great. Uh, shake it out. Should be feeling loose. We're going to loosen it up some more with some rolling. If you have a soft roller, I would use that. Going to get down on the ground. You're going to come with me. And keep the roller behind you for now. Soles of the feet can be on the ground, or you can extend the legs, whatever is more comfortable for you. But rotate your head back and forth, left to right, and just assess where you're at, how far it goes, whether there's um, any cricks. One side goes further than the other. My left side is much more flexible today. So I'm making note of that. And I'm going to bring the roller up to rest it so that it's on my hairline, bottom of my hairline, uh, my natural hairline. My hair's a little long. And um, I'm going to again assess left and right and make note of that. Do my ears touch? Do they go left and right or not? Do I feel any pain? And I'm going to stay right and make a circle in one direction eight times. And I'm going to circle the other direction, still on the right. Still leaning right eight times. Okay. 
And when I'm done with that, I'm going to still stay to the right and I'm going to nod four times. And I'm going to go to the left and circle eight times in one direction. And eight times in the opposite way. I'm going to nod four times. I'm going to put my head in the middle facing straight up, straight ahead, and do eight circle uh, figure eights with my head, eight infinities with my head. And once I've done that, allowing for a couple of um, misdirections, this always happens. I'm going to move the roller slightly back on my head. I might keep your hand back there um, to prevent it from slipping out if you want. And do eight knots. And then I'm going to bring it back to the top of the hairline. Go left and right. See if my ears, if they weren't touching, might be a little bit closer or touching. Any cricks might be a little bit alleviated. Push the roller behind you again and put your head on the floor and do the same thing. <clears throat> See if you're getting a little bit further on the side that is more constricted. I am. And come up and enjoy the snow if you're in the Northeast. And enjoy the sun, I hope, out there on the West Coast. If that's where you are, say hello to Lily. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. You're welcome, Kira. Have a great day. You too. Hey, Richard. Thank you very much, Tom. Okay, Suzanne, take care. Thank you, Tom. You're very welcome. Have a good one. Linda, you good? Great. Guess who didn't want to budge this morning and it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had the same uh, situation with Chubba. We went out uh, to the bottom of the stoop and that was about as far as we got. <laughs> Have a great day. You too. Maureen? Must be on a call. All right. Eva, Norit, yo. See you tomorrow, I hope. And Hal, take care. Jonathan, ciao.